their concerns. And uh, and Madonna, I've been told Madonna. So yeah, speaking is now of Madonna, Suzanne, I'm just going to cut you off. Forgive me, but we got to go to Madonna. Can you hear me? Are you ready to shake up the world? Welcome to the revolution of love. To the rebellion. To our refusal as women to accept this new age of tyranny. Where not just women are in danger, but all marginalized people. Where being uniquely different right now might truly be considered a crime. It took this horrific moment of darkness to wake us the fuck up. It seems, it seems as though we had all slipped into a false sense of comfort, that justice would prevail and that good would win in the end. Well, good did not win this election. But good will win in the end. So what today means is that we are far from the end. Today marks the beginning, the beginning of our story. The revolution starts here. The fight for the right to be free, to be who we are, to be equal. Let's march together through this darkness and with each step know that we are not afraid. That we are not alone that we will not back down. That there is power in our unity and that no opposing force stands a chance in the face of true solidarity. And to our detractors, that insist that this march will never add up to anything? Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. It is the beginning of much needed change. Okay. Change that will require sacrifice. Okay, we're going to pull out of that because of uh, some of the language used. It's Madonna. We didn't know what she was going to say. I've got Jim Shuto and Dana Bash sitting uh, listening to this. Uh, I mean, the one and only material girl up on the stage. I, see, I, see, I spy Amy Schumer over her shoulder. It's a show of force with, I know, uh, all these celebrities. I mean, we heard Donald Trump say, I don't need the celebrities. And I mean, the man won the election. But uh, what do you make of her message? I think that this is incredibly powerful and important. And, uh, and the fact that there are so many people who are out there who suddenly feel like uh, they have, as she was saying before she dropped the F-bomb, yeah. uh, that, that they felt like, you know, at the end of the day, these are Hillary Clinton supporters I'm talking about, that, uh, that good would triumph over bad and that that didn't happen, that that was a wake-up call on election day.